Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel Now today I decided to film actually something that I don't film very often on my channel And that's a favorites video And in this video I will also include some products, some objects That were a disappointment for me or did not work for me So it's like a favorites and nobs of the month <laughs> By the way, do you like my top? This is from Free People And I call this the birdie top because it's so like, flowy and I love these I love these so I think I would just start with the good stuff I would do one good one bad now something that I just adored this month and the previous month is my Cinema Secrets this is a concealer conceal and correct 5-in-1 pro palette and I do apologize because it's super messy right now so I'm sorry but this is how it looks like you have all the shades in here and because it's number one of course you know it's a lighter version now the most used shade is definitely this one which is a peachy corrector shade i use this one so much underneath my eyes not just to correct any kind of darkness or pigmentation i have but also to brighten everything this is such a good you know like salmony peachy color refreshes everything it's definitely more of that old school concealer formula because uh it's in the creamy you know super thick format but because of this i actually think that it works so good because it's you know heavy emollient quite moisturizing and even if i apply a lot of this underneath my eyes if i set it with my beauty blender and some translucent powder it will just stay in place and I'm still surprised that I actually like this product but yes for a, like a night out going out kind of makeup perfection it covers everything it's heavy duty but it works now a big note for me is actually a book and you always ask me you know to show you the books that I'm liking the books that I'm reading what I like what I don't like and this is the one that I don't like <laughs> I know usually I'm very good at picking my books um, what I want to read next uh, I read some reviews online uh, or maybe somebody recommended that to me but this one I got purely because of the title and the book is The Girl of Ink and Stars by Kieran Millwood Highgrade. Now, of course, a little disclaimer, this is totally subjective. So my opinion, uh, not just about this book, but about all the products is totally subjective. So if you read this book, I would love to hear your opinion about this. So of course, no spoilers in this video, but just say it in one word, it's just boring. Boring for me. I feel like in the past two, three years, I'm more into maybe more scientific books or science fiction, I love science fiction uh, I love a good fantasy, you know, I can appreciate it but this one is just not deep enough for me it's super light, it's definitely amazing for, t for like a teenager but for me right now at this point in my life um, it's just too... So I decided to mention this just because I'm so disappointed. I need to read something else from the author to understand exactly, you know, how she writes everything and maybe if I like it, you know, maybe I will like another book. So please let me know if you have it, if you love it, or maybe you don't like it, we share the same opinion. Moving on, I have two products from Dr. Judd. Products that I absolutely love. These are two of my just must-haves that I need to have all the time in my skincare routine and are these two bad boys so I have the Ceramidine cream and I have the Sika Pear, the green one now the Sika Pear is amazing if you use acids on your face if you, you know, exfoliate a lot um, every time I go a little overboard with my acids um, I use this because this is my saver it calms down everything restores that skin barrier also contains centella asiatica which is one of my favorite ingredients especially you can find that in the Korean or just Asian beauty products skincare products makes my skin just the best and this one the ceramidine this is very very good um, again if you go overboard with your acids this one I like to use also in the morning this one I use at night because it contains niacinamide as the name suggests this contains uh, ceramides which are just essential I feel like for the skin and these two the best I always recommend these to basically anyone because these work amazing on both 
really irritated and really calm skin. Another nope that I have this month is actually a pair of lashes. A pair of lashes that I've seen a lot of YouTubers really love. And ta-da! The iconic lashes from House of Lashes. And my problem with this is that these are... The band is super hard. Not flexible at all. And when I apply them very close to my lashes, my eyes hurt all the time. I think it's because of the band, because I'm not used to this kind of band. First of all, I think that it looks very unnatural. Yes, if you have um, like a dramatic eye or a smoky eye, it will be fine. But um, if I want to wear them, you know, just like this, super fake. Um, it's really painful to actually wear these lashes. Again, my subjective opinion. Um, so I would love to hear if you have these lashes, if you try them, and how you make them work, basically. How you make them more flexible, because... No, for me this is a no, no, no. And I feel like it's a bit funny and ironic that I'm actually wearing right now a pair of House of Lashes lashes. These are the Smoky Muse. Uh, which I really like, but yeah, the iconic ones, which are like, I feel like a cult favorite, are not for me. Another favorite of mine, and I think I'm probably the last person on YouTube to mention this product, in their favorites. And it's a powder, a loose powder from Laura Mercier. Yes, the iconic dark brown. Well, it's definitely very, very messy, as you can see, super messy. But for setting the foundation, for setting the concealer, absolutely just perfection. Especially because it's, uh, they say it's translucent, but it has a bit of a um, yellowish tint and just instantly brightens everything. The particles are super fine, it works at setting my makeup and I don't think that it looks bad on my face. And I'm very picky actually with my loose powders, you know that I love the... Innisfree loose powders, uh, those are really good. This one, I feel like it's a bit better. Now this month I got to try a few Marc Jacobs products and I have a nope from Marc Jacobs and it's this mascara, which yeah, it's a bit dirty right now, but you have an idea. <laughs> anyway, this is the Velvet Noir Volume Mascara. I always need to say this with my French accent. <laughs> And the thing that I don't like about this mascara is the wand. It's super messy. Every time I use this wand, I just get super black eyelids because I just cannot, you know, do like this. It always gets dirty around my lashes. It's very pigmented, it's black, it's opaque. But another problem that I have <laughs> with this is after a couple of hours, it just falls down in here in those like really tiny mascara flakes which I absolutely hate and then if I do like this or if I do like this I just smudge that all over and I have a really black underneath eye area so, so yeah, this no me gusta, no me gusta at all but now on the other end I have a mascara that I'm just obsessed with and I love this one for again many months and it's the Black Magic from Aiko this is very very similar to a Japanese mascara in terms of um, longevity, in terms of um, just pigmentation, it's super black. It will not fall in this area and I love a lot the wand. It's a natural bristles wand, it's a bit curved, it's not super massive and it's not super tiny, but for me this works the best. Just curls everything, uh, separates my lashes, and adds a lot of volume and that black pigment. So basically, you have everything in this mascara. Now I'll mention only the good stuff because I finished with my bad or my nopes lashes. Another favorite, Dam Fenty Beauty Match Six in Amber, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous grayish contour color that I absolutely love. This works amazing on a light, like fair, light, and maybe light to medium skin tone. Now that I'm thinking when I'm tan, this works as well. So yeah, light to medium will work. Ever since I got this product, I use it non-stop. And actually right now I'm like, no, stop, 
Stop! Don't use that. Don't use that in every video. But it's good. It's very good. It's a very nice contouring shade. Is that grayish, uh, cool toned, amazing cool tone brown shade for contouring. That's it. Now, how I like to use this because I think this is the key with this product. You need to warm up the product a little bit before applying it, you know, on your face. I've seen a lot of people applying this directly onto their faces and it will not blend as nicely as, for example, if you warm up the product before applying it. So I used it, I probably used half of this, which I'm surprised because I never used in the past like a cream contour shade. Um, I'm, I'm not a fan, but I'm a fan of this. Another good one is the Amrezi and Anastasia the Hills collaboration highlighter, which I don't know how it's called. It's just their collaboration highlighter. And this is how it looks like. It's actually, I think, quite similar to the Estee Lauder highlighter, the jelly highlighter, and it has the same like wavy design, which I like. When I actually got this, I thought this will be super golden for me, like too warm. But it's not. It's a bit more... It's definitely warm, but not like super that intense yellow on the toe. And I'm actually wearing this right now and it's super beaming, super in your face. Um, but I like this. I'm guilty. I know. And that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know what favorites you have. This Let me know if you tried any of these and how they worked for you. I would love to hear that and I will see you in my next video.